Hello and welcome to Ripu 22. Once again, taking you out. Hiking with me today. Uh, this is the long-awaited packing video. Uh, Joe Bell, I know you've been waiting a long, long time for this. Sorry it took, you so, uh, took me so long uh, to come up with this. Um, today, I've just got my L. Bean day pack. Um, so, I'm going to take you through what ideally I would like to bring with me um, on a day hike or even a um, minimalistic overnighter. Um, in the background shot you can see I have my normal um, vest and shirt jacket. Um, I usually take that with me. Um, I haven't been on a summer hike in a long time, um, mainly just winter hikes, uh, but this summer you will not see that. <laughs> so. Here we go. Um, so inside of my pack, um, on the side I carry one water bottle, on the other side I carry another. It's always good to have more than one water bottle just in case you need one for sanitation purposes if you have a wound or you need to snuff out something or maybe you just need an extra drink. So it's always good to have more than one water bottle. Um, also another thing that you might want to get is a, uh, a water purifier. Um, you can get them from EMS, L. Bean, uh, Dick Sporting Goods has them. Um, the one that I'm looking for is the Catadyne uh, Hiker Pro. It's uh, it's a very small. It's about the size of a pole and spring bottle, and what it does is it, it, it's like a pump. You know, like it looks almost like a grenade. It has a handle on it, and you um, you pump the water into it, and it um, it purifies the water. Um, and, and it puts it into another water bottle. So it has two different hoses and then a purification system in the middle, probably with ceramics um, to filter through the water with pressure. So that kind of stuff is really beneficial, especially in an area like that I am right now because I might be out here all day and I only brought one water bottle that actually has full water. I drank the other one. Um, but especially on a warmer day, you're going to want to have some water already with you and then you're going to want to have a purifier um, or iodine tablets that purifies the water. Or, you know, if you're in an area where you can make a fire, you're going to want to um, uh, take a mess kit with you and boil the water for, I think, 15 minutes uh, just so that you can get all the, the nasty gunk out of it. And, you know, we all know how to boil water. So, um, last time I was here, uh, you may have seen the last video that I put up. It was called. Um, the sinking feeling, and that was because I, it was raining and the water was so high here that I was sinking into everything, and um, I basically just wrecked myself out here. That could have been a dangerous situation, and I did not come prepared. This time I came prepared with my L.L. Bean Cresta Hiker boots, and I also brought my wa uh, my hiking shoes, um, just in case my boots get drenched. I brought an extra pair of shoes, and I also brought an extra pair of socks. Now, I know these are cotton white socks. Um, again, when you're hiking, you don't want to be wearing cotton. You're going to want to be wearing wool socks or synthetic wools. Um, this is just the first thing that I had in my draw, so I took it. I mean, in a, in a survival situation, you know, you're just going to want whatever you have on you. So I just I took those. Uh, but it is a better idea to wear wool socks when you're hiking um, versus cotton socks. Um, in the bottom of my pack here, I have a few extra batteries for my camera. Um, I also have a bandana. Bandanas are always really good for um, wrapping up a wound if you if you do so. You know, God forbid you have a wound. You, you want to be able to have something that you can wrap it up with to clot the blood, stop any bleeding. Um, it's also good if you don't have a hat that um, you put this over your head to protect from ticks, mosquitoes. Um, if there's a lot of dust in the area, a fire, you know, you're going to want this to put over your face, block any smog or smoke. Uh, another good idea is um, if it's really warm out, you want to drench this and put it around your neck. Some people put it on your head or your forehead. That's not a good idea. You put it around your neck so that it cools your carotid arteries, so that way all the blood that goes into your brain is cooled so you'll be able to keep your head a lot longer. Make better decisions when you're out in the bush. Um, I did bring extra food, but this is from my last time. I have peanut butter crackers. Uh, peanut butter, as we all know, has a lot of protein. Uh, the crackers are green. Just one of these crackers could last me all afternoon if it keeps my energy up. Um, uh, moving on, my outside pack. I brought toilet paper. 
um, and tissues just in case, you know, the nature, the, get the call of nature, you got to go, you got to go. What are you going to do? You know what I mean? Um, it also serves as a good fire starter. In this bag, I have granola bars and um, a peanut butter sandwich. Um, some of the wackos out there, you don't want to bury your poop. You might want to put it in a plastic bag and take it with you like a puppy. Um, I also have a full first aid kit. Um, this will be another video uh, that I'm going to do about what you should bring in a first aid kit for your hiking trips. Um, mainly what you want is basically anything that you would never expect to bring, bring it. Um, also in here I have some rope, some more toilet paper. Um, I have full finger gloves just in case I would um, need to protect my hands from anything. Um, I also have a compass. Compasses are very important. You need to have a compass with you wherever you go because, you know, you could get dazed and confused and not know which way to get back. So it's a good idea to, to pay attention when you hit the trailhead. Take out your compass and figure out which way you're heading so you can head the opposite way when you come back. And always stay on the trail. Um, yeah, so that's about it for my front compartment. I also... Here, I have a very large tarp, which I wrapped up and I tied to the front of this. The last time that I was here at Caratunk, when it was raining in the Sinking Feeling video, all I had was a child-sized poncho, and I was trying to keep the rain off of me and off of my camera because the, the wind was driving and the rain was terrible. So it's always a good idea, even if it's not going to rain, bring something with you that you could cover yourself up with or make an emergency shelter just until the rain stops so you can warm yourself up, have a snack, and not get completely drenched. Now, on my person, these are my trusty L.L. Bean boots with Vibram soles. I highly recommend them. You can get them at LLBean.com or in any L.L. Bean retailer. Um, they are a little bit expensive. I paid 170 for them, but they are full bonded leather. They have a full gusseted tongue, all metal hardware, and bonded Vibram soles. They have not failed me yet. It's completely waterproof. Also on my person, I have my, my browning straight edge has also come in very handy I keep it on my belt um, I don't have my matches with me today because they were drenched in the last rain I need to get more matches however I do have a lighter just in case now at this place they say no camping, no fires, no littering but I, um, I'm not going to obey that um, if I need to you know what I mean if you're out far away and you don't know your, your way back you need to do what you need to do to stay alive that's what's most important. So, as always, thank you very much for joining me in Route Boot 22's hiking video logs. Um, I hope to hear your comments. Please subscribe. Um, if you have any requests for what you'd like to see or where you'd like me to hike, um, I live on the East Coast um, in New England, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Connecticut area. So, if you'd like to see a hike, something I can uh, I can see if I can do that for you. Um, just send me a comment, and thanks for joining me.